Yo, what's going on guys? JBH here and today it is time for the big one. This is the one I've been sort of excited for but putting off at the same time. It is the Nürburgring 24 hours and we're going to be doing it on race room. Now I could have done the Nürburgring 24 hour on Project Cars 2. I could have done it on R Factor 2 but I felt like race room had sort of the best sort of platform to go and run it on. I can have 99 AI cars which is just absolutely ridiculous so it's going to be so many cars out on track all from different uh, categories we're going to have gt3 gt4 bmw i think 235 or 240i racing series i can't remember what it's actually called we're going to have audi tt's uh tcr cars we're going to have uh porsche Crow cup or porsche gt3 cup and i've also thrown in some old sort of touring cars in there as well so yeah this is going to be massive and we are going to be competing in the gt3 category i'm going to be driving an audi gt3 now usually Usually when I do sort of my endurance races on R Factor 2, I have the AI control feature, which is essentially where you can have like an AI co-driver take over from you and complete a sort of portion of the race. However, that's not a feature on race room, so I will have to do the entire race by myself and there's no way I'm going to do 24 hours. <laughs> not to mention, I think we'd have no AI cars actually finish the race if we did a full 24 hour race around the Nordschleife. So instead, we are going to be doing a three hour race. Um, I'm going to be doing it sort of with breaks in between. And yeah, without any further ado, I'm going to jump into a quick qualifying session, set the grid and get underway here shortly. Okay, so that's qualifying done. Managed to qualify second out of the 33 GT3s uh, and also the 100 cars actually in the race itself. Oh man, there's just so many cars. I can't believe there's that many cars actually. Well, there's actually like 160 that race in real life. Um, and we've only got 100, so we've barely got two thirds. <laughs> Uh, my days. This is going to be a massive race. It's going to be interesting to see when we actually do catch the traffic in the GT3 category. But anyway, that is the grid. 100 cars, so 99 AI in total. Here we go. Nürburgring 24 hours on race room. Three hours, I should say. We are underway. Just going to follow this Audi into turn one. around the outside yes we can Woo! into the lead already power down now unfortunately day night transitions isn't a thing on race room so we've got day transitions instead where you can um, essentially set it to start in the morning and then transition throughout the day um, I also do apologize about the frame rate in today's video. There's uh, literally 99 AI cars plus the full Nordschleife that this poor little PC is trying to render. So it's going to struggle to do that. But it's actually not looking too bad right now, to be honest. Alrighty, up through the Schumacher S's. Oh, it's on the edge. A little bit of a gap right now. Feeling out the grip levels, full tank of fuel. Been a good lap so far. Managed to snag the lead on the first couple corners. They do seem to start quite slow, the AI on, uh, on race route. Through this sketchy chicane. Alright, and up onto the Nordschleife. Here we go. I haven't actually driven on the Nordschleife for well well over two years. I think the last time I drove around here was in like the 2018 Nürburg, uh, uh, iRacing Nürburgring 24 hours. The race nearly killed me, man. I did 12 out of the 24 hours, including two four-hour stints back to back. Oh my gosh, my brain was mush by the end of it. I do not have fond memories of this place. Yeah, it's been a while, but the Nordsch life is like riding a bike, you know, once you get back on it, sort of, do remember everything. It's just try to memorize the entire track in the first place when you're new here. Oh, that's so sketchy, that fast left-hander, that's by far the most dangerous uh, 
or not on the entire track. But we're holding the lead. We've got a pack of cars behind us, so our pace actually isn't that good, to be honest. Um, the only reason I qualified so far up the grid is because I had a clear lap, managed to time it perfectly, and got essentially the Nordschleife all to myself, even though there were other cars on it, just didn't have any traffic on my lap. Uh, this thing is really handling like a pig. If I wanted to set the car up to be actually good in terms of the balance, um, front to back, uh, which I did have it in practice, it was handling really well, but it just wore the rear tyres out after like two laps, so... Oh, oh, hello. She's see that coming. Move for the lead. Oh, oh, back to second. <laughs> there are some parts of this track that the AI is quicker than us, and there's other parts where we're quicker than them. A little bit of error wash there. Overall, this thing is just super unstable. Not happy with it at all. In the TCR, in my previous video, where we sort of recreated the WTCR race from uh, this or well, uh, this round, is the for those who don't know, the World Touring Car Championship sort of runs alongside the Nurburgring 24 Hours the same weekend. And uh, yeah, the Cupra was handing perfectly, but this is just a pig right now. Uh, looks like a Manthe Porsche behind us. Come on. Yeah, to be fair, we are, we are <laughs> way slower than what we should be. And way further through the field than what our pace suggests. Thankfully the damage model uh, on race room is not like that of iRacing. You can actually get away with a few bumps and bruises like... Well maybe... Oh, okay. You're just going to go around the carousel. Oh, get wrecked. How the hell is he doing that? Just break physics, why don't you? Oh my god, side by side. You do not go side by side through here. Woohoo! You conceded. Thank god for that. That could have been very messy. Oh, I messed it up. I grabbed the lead back for now. I gotta get on top of those curbs, missed him. I think that section there is where it came unstuck for me most of the times when I did DNF on iRacing. <laughs> okay, still just about holding onto the lead. We have got a massive line of cars behind us. <laughs> Thought for sure that Audi would pull away, but actually managed to um, hold it onto dotting a hoe. Come on, I need to try to break the toe. It's interesting he's following me. <laughs> That's pretty cool. The AI on most games wouldn't do that. 
Oh, Jesus, yeah, no, he's going to just scream on by us here. Well, maybe not. Interesting. Don't tell me the AI can feel safe as well. <laughs> if that's the case, we really are screwed. Alright, into this braking zone. Now, time that, right. In terms of fuel, uh, it's really sort of unfortunate. We can get 3.9 laps. Um, I thought about, you know, maybe saving a little bit, but I don't want to drive this entire race saving fuel just to get an extra lap. So we'll just go balls to the wall and just take it how it comes. Side for the lead. Woof, this is mental. Oh my god, you do not go side by side through here. I can need hell out of that. It's been a mad start to this race. So slow through turn one. Alrighty, so this is the end of the first stint. Uh, I'm not going to take tyres, just going to go with fuel because I reckon I can double stint these bad boys. But this is my first stop on race room, so I have no idea what I'm about to experience. But we'll just look for the, uh, well, hopefully, some sort of pit crew. Oh, we got a distance sign. That's kind of cool. And this thing does not want to be on the on the limiter at all. Uh, <laughs> a couple of DNFs already. All right, there's the stop sign. All right, refueling. Oh, okay. And back out. Oh, okay a little bit late to start the engine but we've lost the lead unfortunately Ugh. cold worn tires straight out of the pits fight for the lead already Tire now, just got half a lap to go before we make the second pit stop, but yeah, they're in the yellow, they are struggling. Yes, no lap to grip anymore. Coming up to the traffic though, this is going to be interesting. It's actually taken 48 minutes to catch the end of this 100 car field, of course. We start all line a sort of line rest like what they would, um, well, in regular races. Uh, the Nurburgring 24 hours starts in packs, so GT3 field basically catches the rest of the slower cars after like two laps. But 
past these BMWs to start off with. Cheers. Oh, no, that's not what I had planned. Love tap. Arms are getting sore already. Jeez, man, you just do not get a break around this joint. Even with my peasant's G29, still difficult. All right. Alrighty, back out now. It looks like the uh, AI didn't take tyres again, so they're triple stinning, um, which is no way I can do. So we got brand new tyres, and it's already seven seconds by the leader. Uh, anyway, here's what it is. Let's see if we can make some time back up. Way to use the traffic as a pick, make that move up into the podium spots again. Alright, well, that drops us down to six. That's uh, not going too well. Absolute imbecile. I don't know what I did there. Just went in too hot, got on the grass, that's all it takes. Ugh. Back up into fourth. 
starting to get busy now. Only five seconds behind the leader. So they're struggling with the traffic a lot more than we are. Last lap, but not now. Oh, shoot! Okay, let's all just stop in the middle of the road, no worries. Oh, oh man, the TCR cars are just <laughs> so annoyingly bad in terms of the AI drivers. Anyway, hopefully, that don't think that gave us any damage, just some bodywork. I don't know where the guy in second's gone, but we are way, way ahead. We took tyres on that stop before and actually didn't have too bad a sin. Managed to come out way ahead of everyone else, but... Oh. Soldier on, in the lead. Just ride right now. Don't make any more stupid mistakes like that one. Track's also getting slightly hotter as the day goes on, so it's getting slicker. They're just about halfway through now and we're in the lead by well at least 15 seconds I reckon.
No, no, no. No, 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 don't hit it. Ah! No! Idiot. Alright, where was that mistake I was trying to not make? Yeah, we're gonna have to pin this lap, we got damage. God damn it, Joseph. Alright, new tyres. Damage fixed. Engine fixed. Alright. Yeah, inside the So we have six and sevenths just in front of us. Looks like a Nissan and another Mercedes. power down. So one hour 17 to go running in eight. Uh, I'm not quite sure how many more stops we're gonna have to make. Depends on how many more times I put this thing in the bloody fence. Better than I'd hoped. <laughs> mm, yellow. <laughs> it's not a place you usually make a pass, but I'll take it. time though to the guys in second but we have a lead for now alrighty so just under an hour to go come out in fifth place after that last stop so not quite sure how it's all going to work out with the strategy. I mean, AI are on a completely different strategy to me. And uh, also, I've just noticed that my camera has uh, <laughs> run out of recording space. So um, you guys won't have to put up with seeing my beautiful face for the rest of this race. Um, anyway, got some traffic to deal with. It's a BMV. straight and he's going to be just as quick as us. More successful that time around. Alright, pit stop requested. Fix the damage, fix, uh, place the tyres I should say. Should be 
good. Actually, there is a bunch of traffic ahead of us, which I can only assume is the most part of the uh, Porsche GT3 Cup field, so we're actually pitting probably at not too bad a time. I think we'll have to pass them at some point anyway. Oh, Jesus, here's that Porsche. No, don't do that. Okay, so hopefully that should be the final stop of the race, I think, because, um, well, we're going we're gonna to need to pit every three laps, well, we've been having to pit every three laps, I should say, and we've got uh, three laps from now would mean that it's going to take us 8, 16, 24, so around 25 minutes, we've got 27 or 28 minutes left in the race itself, so... We're going to have four laps to go, which means I need to try and save in this stint to try and make this tank go one extra lap. But at the same time, try and hold the pace at a decent enough level so that we can get back to the lead. So <laughs> this is going to be a do or die final stint. Get that lift and coast going. We're gonna need at least, I think, another five liters to try and get to the end of this one. Oh, jeez, come on, Joseph. Okay, so this is gonna be very interesting to see where we actually do come out here because this is gonna be the rest of the cars in front of us final pit stop. So we are in seventh as of right now. Twenty minutes to go, so. Around three laps left at the line this time by. Just curious to see how much fuel we've managed to save. I can't believe we finally hit all this traffic on the final sort of two laps of this race. I mean, we started out with a hundred cars on the grid and it certainly hasn't felt like that. I mean, we've barely come into any contact with the traffic compared to what I thought we would. Anyway, we seem to hit it all at once here. Actually having track it, uh, the traffic is going to be a benefit to us because it means we can sort of use it to try and save fuel. Right now, I think we're around three litres short.
squeeze. Oh my days. <laughs> this is getting a bit intense here, lads. Two laps to go. In third, two seconds behind. Second. Oh, gosh, these bloody portions are so quick. No, oh, you... Oh, far out. You've been taken out by another fucking Porsche. I can't believe it. It's twice now in like four laps. All right, well, there goes the podium. Fuck's sake, man. Just can't see us saving that amount of fuel. we got... Th it's around 30 laps of fuel a lap. Uh, thir 30 litres of fuel a lap. And we've got 64, so we're going to need 60 as we get across the line. That's a lot of fuel saving. If I just coast all the way from here. Oh shit, there goes. <laughs> but the Porsches were still behind me. Oh wow, the AI are pitting again. Okay, so this is interesting. So we're up into the lead, man. Okay. Alrighty, so if we can save enough fuel, we'll win this race. If we can save enough fuel. It's a gamble, but it's worth it. So yeah, the AI have gone in for a splash and dash. I reckon I could just about make it to the end if we save enough here on this last two laps. It's going to be a long last two laps, but I reckon we can do it. Interesting, I thought for sure those three AI cars around us in first, second and third would have been able to make it to the end, obviously not. Computer has told him no. about every single panel on this thing this and goes throughout this race. I mean it has been a messy one for sure. Not one of my finest drives, but AI seem <laughs> to have not got the strategy right and uh, keep having to pit every sort of three or so laps longer than what I have to do, so it's uh, helped us out. Thirty-nine, thirty-eight. Okay, so we've saved a lot of fuel on that last lap. This is looking good to make it to the end now. Second place cars, thirty-seven seconds behind. Here we go, last lap, 36, 35 litres of fuel, so we actually have more than enough now to get to the end. I'm still going to save a little bit on this last lap just to double, sort of make sure, double check, make sure we can get to the end, but I think we should be okay. Let's go BMW.
KTM crossbow. One funky looking car, that one. I do like the back of the really. does stick to your tyres for a while. Makes it super slippery for the next couple of hours. Oh, Jesus. Uh, so messy. Alrighty, halfway through this final lap, still got a massive gap on second. All in all, this race has been a little bit different to what I expected. I mean, this is my first real endurance race on race room. You know, first time doing pit stops, first time having to strategize what happens here and there, and how to save fuel, how the tire sort of wear affects the car, and how the lowering of the fuel load affects the car. And it's pretty realistic. I mean. I certainly don't think this is the most realistic GT3 sort of model, sim, whatever you want to call it, uh, out there. I still think that award right now goes to a set of Corsa Competizione. Um, I think that's ACC is actually even more realistic than iRacing right now in terms of the, the tyre model and how the car sort of feels underneath you, um, even though you're in a sim, <laughs> sim rig. Uh, you get what I mean. Um, I'm quite disappointed in the AI, I thought they were going to be a little bit better in this race. 
like the actual speed of them is uh, a lot quicker than me. Well, not a lot quicker than me, but they average around in Evergreen, I reckon, on a clear lap. Probably between one and two seconds quicker than me. And um, so that's why I kept the sort of difficulty at 110% or whatever it set at. So the pace wise, so, like, yeah, pace wise, they're about same as me however strategy wise and just through making endless mistakes here there and everywhere they've well well back on me now I mean I think we still have like a 30 plus second lead and I've made so many mistakes in this race it's not even funny <laughs> uh, if this was if this was I racing I'd be probably two laps down um, which is just comparing it to real life drivers uh, still better than R factor R factor 2 if I'd run this race on R-Factor 2, I think there just would have been so many crashes and so many bugs with the AI on, well, with this many different categories and maybe the, um, the issue with the sort of AI being too, or not aggressive enough, I should say. So you then go and put the aggressiveness up and it turns out that they, um, they get too aggressive and just fire people off into the wall every five seconds. So. I still think it's better if you were to do a Nürburgring 24 hour, you'd do it on race room, but yeah, there's not really anything that gets close to, say, doing it on iRacing where you are racing it with a full day-night transition with drivers that actually, well, most part, know how to drive. And uh, yeah, in cars that probably handle a little bit more stable to this. I notice on iRacing, especially the Nordschleife has just that little bit more grip than the uh, Nürburgring Grand Prix section or the Grand Prix section of the track whereas on here it seems to be the same and I think I racing do that just to make it a little bit more stable on cars throughout that part of the track because it is just so deadly if you get it wrong but anyway here we go last time down dotting a hoe we are 10 leaders to the good right now so we saved enough on that final stint we've got a well, looks like a well over 30 second lead to second car is absolutely mashed to bits but thankfully on race room you can actually fix it and get it to go to the end um, no matter how hard you seem to have hit the wall because I have hit the wall pretty hard in times during this race and got away with it anyway round the final corner we're gonna grab a win I'm not gonna lie it doesn't feel as good as what it should because anytime you sort of run a race where you don't feel like you drive that well yet still get the win. Oh, look at that poor Audi, that is absolutely destroyed. We don't even have a hood on the thing. Oh my days. Anyway guys, thanks for tuning in. I hope you've enjoyed this sort of little rendition of the Nürburgring 24 hour or Nürburgring 3 hour, whatever you want to call it on race room. It's been for the most part a fun race. I mean, we had a couple little good fun battles there, but yeah, not, not as exciting as I was hoping for. The AI just weren't weren't as good as I'd uh, had expected after reading what people have sort of read, uh, wrote online and how they drive. Like they race, they race realistic, they drive realistic, but then yeah, they make really weird mistakes and really odd strategy choices in this in sort of endurance setting. But yeah. Anyway, that's enough from me. Thanks guys for tuning in. Stay tuned for more throughout the year from Race Room. We're going to go back into the WTCR category uh, in the next couple of weeks. And yeah, until next time, catch you guys later.